Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Gapminder World video number 11. Now those of you who follow my YouTube channel or my website, uh, MrBartonMaths.com, will know that as well as my weekly series of Gapminder World videos, I also do a weekly series of tutorials on Autograph, which is a very, very, very powerful piece of mathematical dynamic geometry software. And I've had a few emails from people wondering if it's possible to combine the two, to combine, to combine the visual beauty of Gapminder World with kind of the mathematical rigour of um, Autograph statistical engine. Well, the good news is, it certainly is possible to combine them, and we're going to have a look at that this week. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Gapminder World, and I'm going to get it to plot life expectancy on the y-axis against fertility on the x-axis. Now, would you like to have a think what that might look like for all the countries in the world? Positive, negative, no correlation? As ever, only one way to find out. Here is Gapminder World. So, that is the world in 2009, and you can see it's a pretty, seems to be quite a strong negative correlation. Now, as ever, the beauty of Gapminder World is we're not content with just one, one year, 2009. We can do all the years. So, if I just go backwards to, say, 1920, let's have a look how the world changes. Now, countries seem to be kind of drifting towards the top left of the graph, which is meaning that life expectancy is increasing and fertility is decreasing. And we've looked at this in previous weeks. However, if I just um, take the time back to 1950. So that's 19... There's the world in 1950. And there's the world in 2009. Now, it's obviously... It's obviously a very different world but how different and um, um, in which year is the correlation the strongest and what it, exactly is the relationship what's the equation of the line of best fit which would allow us to make some predictions well this is where autograph can come in now gapminder world is fantastic because you can have access to all the data sets that are used and you get it just by hovering down and clicking this little button here view data so if i want every country's life expectancy data well not a problem i'll just give that a little click and it'll fire up here now just in case it takes a bit of time I've actually opened the where tab there and it just comes like this which is just a massive spreadsheet full absolutely cram packed full of data now you can download that as an Excel file if you want um, or you can just copy and paste straight from here whatever you want to do likewise if you want the data on fertility well not a problem just hover down there view data and it appears again like this so what I've done is I've chosen two years, and 1950 is normally a good year to start to use on Gapminder because that's when the vast majority of data kicks in. So what I've looked at is the strength of the relationship between fertility and life expectancy in 1950 and in 2009 to compare the two. And I've just assembled myself a little Excel spreadsheet with all the countries in the world and their 1950 fertility and life expectancy. And what I'm going to do is I'm very quickly going to whiz this into Autograph. So uh, for those of you not familiar with autograph as I say just have a look at my autograph videos and hopefully that will bring you up to speed but here we go first I'm going to take the fertility rate so I'm just going to grab all of column B I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to fire up autograph and in this nice little feature here I'm going to enter some data and if I just right click and I want my um, x-axis to be fertility and my y-axis I would like some 1950s data on life expectancy right click copy Let's just pop that right click and paste that in. And that looks pretty nice to me, I think. Um, and I'll just click OK and see what Autograph makes of that. And it says if there's any empty cells, it's just going to ignore them. That's, thank you, Autograph. Good news. Click OK. And there we go. Life expectancy on the y-axis and fertility on the x-axis. And the beauty of having it like this is I can now use all of Autograph's amazing statistical powers. So not a problem to do a line of best fit. If I just right click and then hopefully down here I'll get best fit. And I'll just like a linear best fit fit please autograph not a problem I can do regression lines but best of all I can get strength of correlation coefficients so if I just double click on this and I want to show statistics I'm told yes yes autograph thank you that the correlation coefficient is minus 0.78 pretty strong but is it stronger than in 2009 well I've got that up here as well double click on that I would like to show some statistics click OK and the correlation coefficient there is minus 0.83. So a slightly stronger negative correlation between 1950 and 2009. And that's how you can combine Gapminder World with Autograph. See you next week. Bye-bye.